Hey guys, it's Kev Killed, and I'm bringing you my second commentary. This time, I'm not just going to talk about my setup, I'm mainly going to talk about what perks, what they're good for, and why should you choose them over other perks instead. So the perks I'm going to be using for this match is Scavenger Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro. I find these perks very essential for survival. No matter what gun you have equipped, these perks combined can make you last longer in the field of battle. So the first tier perk starts off with Marathon. I find this a great start for new players and great for rushing, of course. It's also great when you need to escape a firefight when you can't handle three or four enemies you see in front of you. So don't be afraid to use this perk to its full potential. The pro version isn't that bad either. You may be able to climb up objects faster, but it's not the best for a pro version of other perks. Next comes Sleight of Hand. This perk is great for some machine guns and close quarters combat. With the faster reload, you are able to get many kills in a short amount of time. The pro version is very useful as well. Since you can aim down the sight much faster, quick scoping with the sniper is a lot easier and reloading is such a breeze. The perk Scavenger is absolutely amazing. Many users favorite this perk because you can start out with maximum ammunition in the pro version. You can get more kills in the long run, and the perk itself isn't that bad either. Whenever you're out of grenades or need an extra claymore, pick up one of these blue bags on the ground for another piece of equipment. If you can't decide between two attachments on a gun, choose bling. I like to have the red dot and the heartbeat sensor onto one of my rifles, just in case the game is going a little too tough for me. And the pro version isn't that bad either. Since you can have two attachments onto a secondary weapon, such as the G18 Akimbos with extended mags, you can also have a quick portable close quarters combat weapon right there for the ready. One man army. This set allows you to switch to other classes, but if you're low on ammo, you can reselect your own class and refill your ammunition and equipment as well. The pro version of One Man Army just allows you to swap classes faster. Nothing too special. Next is the second tier of perks. The best perk in my opinion is Stopping Power. I can't stress this enough. So many people use this perk and it lives up to his name. Without a doubt, Stopping Power is the most useful perk in my opinion. Whether you are new or experienced, Stopping Power is definitely the best, and the pro version of Stopping Power absolutely sucks. You get extra bullet damage shooting at vehicles, but seriously guys, grab a stinger, they'll do the job. Lightweight makes it great for quick rushing or quick escaping, but it doesn't make you go really fast, just a few clicks faster. I'm not saying don't use it, but it's great for getting first strikes. The pro version is pretty nice as well. You can aim down the sight a lot faster after rushing, not after walking. That's for sleight of hand pro. Put these together and you get a pretty good close quarters combat set. Whether you're having a bad day or need quick kill streaks for a little extra push, Hardline is perfect. Always have this perk handy, especially with the pro version, which means quicker death streaks. So it's definitely the choice in case the team is killing you too excessively. Cold Blooded is one of the best stealth perks. Not only are you protected by thermal and UAV, you can't be shot from helicopters or sentry guns. If you want to sneak around and play it stealthy, this perk is great for surprising the enemy. The pro version allows you to have no red crosshair or name when being targeted from the enemy. This perk is also favored among users as well. Danger Close is increased explosive weapon damage. Noob tubes plus a rocket launcher and you can seriously tick off the other enemy or bring revenge on to those who are noob tubing you in the first place. The pro version allows you to get increased air support damage. This with chopper grinder can bring hell onto the map. Now comes the third tier. Commando is a perk I don't like as much as others, but the ones who abuse it absolutely love it. Even though the extra range is great for close ranges, I don't personally favor this perk because I find it very cheap and very annoying. There is better perks than just a longer arm. The pro version, however, I do like. Since you don't take any falling damage, this perk can also be used for various situations such as escaping a firefight quickly or going into close ranges. One of my favorites is Steady Aim. This is the best perk for submachine guns. Put this onto the Akimbos and you get some pretty nice kills. This perk with rapid fire makes aiming a lot easier. After you get the pro version, snipers tend to use this perk because of the longer time you can hold your breath while scoped, which makes sniping a lot easier than before. 
Scrambler is the most challenging perk to use. The enemy knows where you could be, so going for the ones that are camping is not such a good idea. If you keep on dying from enemy claymores, the pro version of Scrambler will allow the claymore to detonate 3 seconds after you trip them. Ninja is one of my favorites and other users like it as well. This is another stealth perk so heartbeat sensors won't be able to detect you. Staying away from your teammates will prevent you from dying much more often and the pro version is very nice. Since your footsteps become silent, flanking with this perk is amazing. Combine with cold blooded and you get the ultimate stealth class. Next is Sitrep. Finally you can see claymores halfway across the map. Now that enemy equipment glows red, even grenades glows red. If you can plan out your actions more effectively, you can stay alive longer on the field of battle. And the pro version is very nice. Enemy footsteps become louder, but getting the pro version of Sitrep can become very tedious. Last is, well, last end. Even though I did have this in my other videos, I promise I'll never use it again. Getting a kill in last stand can be very difficult. It annoys the other team and there's much better perks to choose from. Unless you want to abuse it, the pro version allows you to use your equipment in last stand. Last of the tiers is Death Streaks. Even though Copycat isn't used, it is a great death streak even when you're at a low level or even after you just prestige. If the enemy is level 70 and has an AK, steal it and do some damage back. Copycat without a doubt may be new, but it does have the rewards as well. Painkiller. Enough said. The most annoying perk in the game. When you're a new player, this may be the perk for you, but when experienced, there's better death streaks than just 10 seconds of more health. The only good thing I could say about Painkiller is that if you have Hardline Pro, and if you only get two deaths in a row, Painkiller is at the ready. But once again, there is still better death streak perks than just Painkiller itself. The third death streak is Martyr Dome. Whenever you're close range fighting, this could be the worst nightmare you see right in front of you, a dropped live grenade. Along with quick reactions, you may be able to survive. But I wouldn't recommend this death streak as much as others. The odds are slim, but if you want to prevent yourself from getting grenaded from Martyrdom, kill the enemy, step back, and proceed when clear. The last death streak perk is Final Stand. This death streak perk is commonly used by other players. Not only you go into last stand with a primary weapon, if you survive long enough, you can get back up and back into the game. Final Stand and Last Stand can get confusing. If they do not die from a flashbang or stun grenade, always be prepared before you engage close range. Hopefully this answered many of your guys' questions about perks on what to use and how to use them just to enhance your playing style. Anyways, this is Kev Killed. Thanks for watching and see you guys then.